I started with IMAX about September of 2009 and at that point I really had no experience in computer science so it was a little intimidating. I really feel like that people tend to shy away from things that they do not understand quite well yet. Most people don't really understand what computer science is about. To someone who has very little experience in computer science, computer science is big scary words. When I first started, something was different about IMAX. Something drew me in. And I think the best way to phrase it is that compared to normal textbooks and courses, IMAX really communicates to you. I mean, textbooks will talk about the content, they'll, they'll give you good definitions, good descriptions, good equations, but the problem really is is that they don't really communicate to you. That sort of bridge of understanding is lost and it is very easy to feel overwhelmed by the content because you just don't know what sort of direction you're heading in. For IMAX, you start out at the very beginning and by the time you've reached the end of the course, it was only then when it hit me how much I had learned. I never experienced that feeling of being stuck while learning with IMAX. What IMAX does is that it makes computer science natural. It's not about memorization. It's shallow understanding just to get by. It is about deep understanding of computer science that you will take with you for the rest of your life. I feel like I feel like IMAX really gives you the strong, strong basis. Another thing about IMAX is that they really see every student as an individual. IMAX IMAX makes computer science interesting. It makes it fun. Learn computer science as a game. Sometimes you come across something that will stick with you for the rest of your life. And I'm glad that IMAX was one of them. If you are interested in computer science, pick IMAX. Click the link below this video to take you to the official IMAX homepage where you can discover IMAX online courses and much more. Bloopers! Click, click the link in the box. Click the link in the, click the link below this video to take you to the, uh, Click the link below this video to take you to the, I went to my local Barnes and Nobles. I went to my local Barnes and uh, Barnes, Barnes and Nobles. Bottom left hand corner, you'll see two numbers. One being the page number that you are on, and two, the total number of web pages in the total, in the total, the total, total.